Hello and welcome back to our Dominus Nigeria series. My name is Teola and today's topic is very important if you are looking to seriously do business in Nigeria, setting up your accounting system. Like a good engineer would never build a house on sand, every house needs a solid foundation and an account system is a solid foundation to allow any business owner to really know their numbers and get their business right in terms of compliance and also sustainability. I'm going to be introducing an expert in financial accounting to give you a brief rundown on how to set up an accounting system in Nigeria. Hello everyone, my name is Amotaya Mabumi. I'm a senior financial accountant, a stranded chartered accountant and I'll be briefing you on how to set up an accounting system in Nigeria. An accounting system is a structured process for recording, organizing, and managing the financial transactions of a company. It's imperative that all companies set up an accounting system to ensure accurate financial reporting, compliance with regulatory requirements, so as to aid decision making and the overall financial health of the organization. There is no one size fits all accounting system in Nigeria. Flexibility is great, but there are some key things to keep in mind. The first is the IFRS, which means the International Financial Reporting Standard. Think of it as universal language for business finance. Here in Nigeria, all companies, big or small, have to speak this language you know, to their financial reports. The IFRS are usually issued by the International Accounting Standard Board and they are like the accounting standards that govern financial reporting in Nigeria. We adopted by Nigeria January 2012 to ensure that the Nigeria accounting standards are inconsistent with you know, international best practices. Legally, businesses in Nigeria are required to keep meticulous records, whether physically or electronically, by the Complaints and Allied Matters Act. These records, at the end of every year, translate to financial statements which are audited and submitted to two important authorities, the Tax Authority and the Corporate Affairs Commission. We have a full video on Corporate Affairs Commission registration for businesses, so do well to click on the link in the card to watch the full video. Now let's get back to it. For businesses with subsidiaries, you need to know something called a group account, which is a consolidated financial statement for the parent company and the subsidiary, which shows you know, the financial performance and position of these companies as a single economic entity. Directors are also obligated to select a particular date as their financial year end. Usually, most companies opt for December 31st. This is discretionary, but whichever date you choose, you have to communicate this to the Corporate Affairs Commission so as to avoid surprises during filing season. So let's talk about an holistic approach for setting up accounting system. So firstly, you have to determine the basis of accounting you're looking to adopt. There are three bases of accounting, the cash basis, the modified cash basis, and the accrual basis of accounting. For the basis of accounting recognized by the International Financial Reporting Standard is the accrual basis of accounting because it recognizes revenue when earned and expenses when incurred. After you know your choice of basis of accounting, you have to go on to your choice of um, an accounting software. So it's imperative to choose an accounting software that suits your needs and to select an accounting software there's some factors you need to consider such factors include does this accounting software meet my budget is it user friendly and are they responsive you know when the need arises after selecting an accounting software then you need to create a chart of account so a chart of account is like a structural directory of all your transactions or accounts books of accounts so the chart of account organizes your account into five basic elements, the assets, expenses, losses, income, and equity. So these basic elements have like a numeric representation. Your assets could start with an heading like 100 and all other sub assets accounts follow through. Your expenses could start with a 200, your liability could be 300, your income could be 400 and your equity could be 500. So that's what the chart of account is like. After setting up your chart of account, the next big step is to ensure that you have set up templates for your invoices, templates for your receipts, templates for credit notes and other necessary templates. This is important because it contains the branding of your organization, it contains other corporate information needed 
like your office address, TIN, and what have you. After setting up this template, it's also imperative that you set up your tax information. So all accounting software have embedded in them a session where you can set up your local taxes, such as VAT withholding tax. So it's imperative that you set this up within the accounting system. After setting up your accounting information, you have to train your staff on how to use this accounting software and then do a test run. However, it is sacrosanct that you imbibe the culture of meticulous record keeping, you know, for the sake of financial audit, tax audit. We can keep this record physically or electronically, preferably electronically. You can have you know, a storage, a system for a central system for storing data is always very imperative. And you can also do this within your accounting software. Thank you. If you have any question about setting up your accounting system, or you want us to render you assurance, audit, or bookkeeping services, please do want to reach out to us at infoastronaut.com, as you can see on your screen. Don't forget to like and share this video, and also subscribe to our channel for more insights in our Doom Business Nigeria series. Thank you for joining us today. See you next time.